a rowdy mob. Hey. <laughs> yeah, first time up in Darwin and Catherine and the like. I haven't really come in contact a lot with um, Aboriginal culture and definitely haven't met a lot um, myself. I suppose what I'm looking for is just to capture life, to capture the essence of humanity, being in relationship together. The Aboriginal culture is, is really one of community and family and so I was aiming for that as well. I think they're all really excited about having the Creole Bible. We've been waiting for the Creole Bible in our own language for a long, long time. This new Bible is God's word in the Creole language. I'm very happy to receive New Bible Creole Bible. As the dedication was happening and the releasing of the Creole Bible and thinking a few years ago I wouldn't have even given a stuff about this and meeting some of the translators who have worked on it for the last 30 years and seeing their joy and having finally finished this and being able to put it out there and it's been good to see people's reactions to it. And the first time, you know, that whole Bible in my head. And I praise God for that. This is a really historic event for the church, both Indigenous and non-Indigenous. To see them now being actually distributed to people who will use them, take them back to their communities and to their churches, and you just know that God will bless His Word as it goes out and uh, bring about great transformation in communities and in the lives of individuals too. It doesn't get any better than that. Bible translation had never even crossed my mind, but now very much I see the necessity of it for a, a people who their, their first language is in English. I think they need to have something who, uh, a Bible they can read that they can really understand and work with and um, experience the life of the Bible.